Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Christina speaking. Today is November 7, 2021, and I hope everybody is doing well. So I have a message from our Lord Jesus Christ. But before I share the message, I want to confess with my mouth that I truly believe in Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, our Lord and Savior, who has come in the fresh on earth and was crucified and died for our sins according to the scripture and was buried and he rose on the third day. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please turn to him. Accept and receive him as your God and Savior and repent your sins before it is too late. God does not wish anyone to perish and time is so short. Please do this quickly. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, today the Lord told me to tell you this. He said, tell them, Behold, I am at the door. Behold, I am at the door. When he said that, I wanted to understand the difference between Behold, I am coming and Behold, I am at the door. My understanding is that when he said, Behold, I am coming, you had a little time to prepare and get ready to receive him. And when he says, Behold, I am at the door, this means you are prepared and ready to meet him. And so, I hope all of you are ready to meet the Lord because He is at the door, brothers and sisters. The rapture is about to take place. I cannot tell you how many days left, but I can surely say that any moment now, the trumpet can sound. And so, you are ready. The scripture tells that we must watch and pray and get ready every day. Amen. And so, uh, the message today is in Luke chapter 3, verse 3 to 6, and in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 to 10. Both these two scriptures have the same message, brothers and sisters. But before I talk about the message, I want to lead to you Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. It says, From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Brothers and sisters, the key message today is repentance. You understand that even though time is so short, even though the Lord is at the door, He is still calling people 
to repentance because God is mercy is everlasting. Even if a second left, if you seek him and you humble yourself and repent, he will forgive you. And so, brothers and sisters, he is at the door. Repent while you can still do it. Amen. We are all sinners and so we are all called to repentance because a sinner will not enter the kingdom of God. It is written and so our Lord is so good, God is a merciful and faithful. Jesus Christ died for our sins and paid the price. He shed his precious blood for the remission of sins. His forgiveness is a gift for us. And so, brothers and sisters, put away your pride because you are a sinner and turn to the Lord, humble yourself and repent your sins while you can still do it before it is too late. Amen? And so, uh, coming back to uh, these two scriptures, Luke chapter 3, verse 3 to 6. There is a call of baptism of repentance for remission of sins. Brothers and sisters, get baptized and repent before it is too late. When you are baptized, you are a new person in Christ. So be baptized and repent. You really need that. And this was my preview message as well. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 to 10, there is a call to prepare the way of the coming of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, please lead these scriptures because they are from the Lord in order to understand the message of today. I'm going to lead to you Isaiah chapter 40 verse 10 but please lead the rest of the scripture. Behold the Lord God will come with strong hand and his arm shall roar for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Brothers and sisters, he is here. Please seek the Lord and repent. If you are living in a compromised ways that hinder the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you need to hear this voice calling us today because the time is up. Please prepare the 
way of the coming of the Lord. You can do this through a You can do this. Through your own personal repentance and adoration of our Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. Worship the Lord in his spirit and in truth. I believe no one can do this for you. Only you with the Lord can do this. So please share this video with our brothers and sisters and spread the word. Also you can read uh, Luke Verse uh, Rock chapter 15, verse 7. When I asked the Lord uh, why I always talk about repentance, and not many are watching these videos, look what he said to me. He said, uh, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over 99 just persons which need no. This is in Luke chapter 15 verse 7. So, even only one sinner can repent. There is a joy in heaven, brothers and sisters. God bless you and stay ready. He's coming.